Welcome back for another unboxing of a prototype that it's hitting crowdfunding very very soon and this time we have the opportunity to open the prototype of the cats of Mont Saint Michel. This is a game from Raybox Games, a company that have produced a really interesting game system that we enjoyed in uh, the latest uh, Escape from Stalingrad Z, a fantastic uh, a dungeon crawler with zombies set in the World War II. This is a game that has uh, uh, a more, I should say, uh, friendly uh, approach. Uh, it's more accessible and I'm really much looking forward to get into this trite and then make a preview uh, on how to play and share my final uh, original initial thoughts about the game. So what's the game, uh, what the game is about? So the game welcomes players to the cut of Mont Saint Michel. A dark time has fallen on the place and the humans who inhabit it. The Cats of Mont Saint Michel is a miniature solo cooperative campaign game uh, set in the historical monastery Saint uh, Michel and just before the French Revolution. You will be playing directly on the Coldbound scenario book and uh, using 12 sided dice, uh, which uh, they will be used for combat and collecting cards for loot, skills, and powers. The game plays out over a series of linked scenarios, forming a campaign and an ongoing story. And each previous scenario in the campaign affects the start of the next one. As you play each scenario, your hero will become closer uh, to reaching their ultimate goal of riding the Abbey of, uh, of riding the Abbey of um, uh, so riding the Abbey of the Villainous uh, Rats of the Brethren, and along the way they will need to uh, defeat swarms of cockroaches, warriors, rats, and other foul beings. They will also be gaining experience and unlocking unique skills, and the game takes several sittings to complete, but you can save your progress easily between sessions. The game falls under the category of adventure games with animals, fantasy and miniatures. It has various mechanisms, among which to just list a few is the action points, a cooperative game, the dice rolling, the grid movement, the movement points, the scenario campaign game, and it has a solo and squares grid where players move uh, across the various pages uh, slash uh, missions. The game plays from 1 to 4 players, takes around 20 to 40 minutes, it's a relatively quick one, it takes uh, uh, usually half an hour, ages 14 and up, and the weight is 2.5 out of 5. It's designed by Tom Frank and Marco uh, Pecotta, and the publisher, as I mentioned, is Raybox Games. So, join me in uh, diving into the prototype. Again, this is, a, as you can see, a prototype. Uh, it looks very nice, but it's a prototype, so we're going to have a quick view in the components. Keep in mind that I'm going to add a link in the description for the crowdfunding uh, campaign page where you can find out more and uh, follow so that you are notified when the, they launch, which is going to be very soon, in a few days. Also keep in mind that um, uh, this prototype just holds some of the components, only a few scenarios, some of the tokens, just uh, for the reviewers like me uh, to get uh, a feeling of uh, some of uh, the first uh, sessions of the game and get an opinion about it. So this by no means has all the components, it's just um, a demo, let's, let's see. So, uh, the rulebook, I'm just going to flip through the rulebook, uh, they have done some minor updates uh, as I know, but just to show you um, the level of um, readiness of the game. It has um, in the first page the uh, components, we have cat markers, rat markers, roach markers, we have of course our heroes, various cards, loot cards, skill cards, 12 sided dice, various markers, character boards, and we have, of course, the adventure book. So there is a introduction that sets us in the scene. We have some core concepts explained. This is a very easy game to get behind. If you played uh, Escape from Stalingrad Z, this is uh, uh, far more uh, easy to get behind, and obviously you can play with uh, 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 mixed uh, groups as well. So. A breakdown of the cat character sheet. We have the Dawn Patrol explained. We have the sequence of play with examples. These are various settings from uh, the missions that are included in this demo. Explanation of the cat actions, the rat actions, how you move your cat, uh, how you do spawning in the game, various loot cards, anatomy of cards, and things you can gain. Uh, there is a combat and how the combat works. Cat attack. And then you foes. And the traumatic personas. And here you can find also some uh, 
uh, entries uh, so I'm not going to just make any spoiler uh, I'm going to show some of this during the uh, how to play review where I explain the rules so again let's see the components let's see what we have here these are the characters oh nice we have the background story of each of those we have Nera she's a ninja nice this is linen finish by the way great quality um, we have the stats the weapon the armor and the truck the health truck on the top uh, we have guy who's rogue similar setup yeah we have leon which is a paladin musketeer with his portrait last but not least we have Adara who is a wizard who spells and stuff nice the art is unique definitely I, I, I very much like to highlight that which I, I like it has a specific character so we'll see the adventure book in a sec let's see what else is included in the, the uh, prototype we have two dice 12 sided some standee bases to attach to our characters I believe that there are going to be some uh, uh, miniatures also miniatures version if I'm uh, guessing correctly from the previous games and the design also by the way this is a relatively compact game for uh, a game that uses instead of map tiles you know you have scenarios that you flip on the adventure book and you can easily set it up and uh, pack it also oh these are the cards of Leon so okay the cards of Adara cards of Guy the Pope and the cards of Nira okay so these are the personal decks for each of the characters we have a smaller deck again this is just some of the components used for uh, the demoing purposes. demoing purposes we have loot cards as you can see from this deck some loot cards as a sample hook and potions rapier and crossbow muskets mace pistols Tough swords and coins and some ambush or traps okay nice of course this is unshuffled cool uh, I'm going to see now the two punch boards included for this demo again just sample so we have our heroes which have this standee uh, which uh, have the art and have a thick cardboard for the standee of course this is going to be also one of the options if I'm not mistaken to get either the standee or get the um, miniatures version okay we have the additional standees okay <laughs> very nice uh, approach to the to the art very different we have the roach markers the roach sorry standees roaches okay there's a total of 18 uh, standees in this uh, demo let's get them out this looks nice this nice also with a crossbow okay and then we have this one here nice okay so the last uh, punch board has also a legend on what's what we have the wound markers which are these okay and 
we have toxic stench seems like some kind of uh, special attack or something okay which is this one you have the respective uh, markers so we have the cut markers if I'm not mistaken, there was the option to play either with uh, standees or markers uh, uh, on the different versions that they had on the previous games. I suppose it's the same. This is uh, markers for the roaches. I like the theme, I like the setting, I like the idea, I like the view and the aesthetics and the appearance of uh, how the game looks. Gives me a vibe of uh, Mice and Mystics, in, uh, sort of. So we have markers for all of those uh, minis. We have some additional uh, loot markers. This is a loot marker. This is a nice legend at the back, at the bottom. Okay. Nice quality prototype. Very happy with what I see so far. Uh, these are the objectives, so they will vary depending on the scenario. Okay, and the scenario in the adventure book will explain what's, uh, what is what. These are stun tokens for status effects. And you have vulnerable, which is the exclamation marker here. Okay, and the round tracker shouldn't be anything else other than <laughs> a cat. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Then we have some depleted markers. And last, some scratch markers. And these are all the components that we have, all the tokens from the demo, which I believe has the option for uh, for us who are reviewing, previewing the game to play three, if I'm not mistaken, scenarios. We'll see. Okay, cool. Now, let's see the, the adventure book. The, adve the adventure book comes in this uh, spiral bound book, okay. Good quality cover. It has uh, the setting and the theme, okay? Again, this is a demo. So we have scenario one, the Dawn Patrol, which has explanation, setup, spawn, objective, special rules on the left side, okay? And you have the play area on the right. The marker, the round marker. So this is, uh, I suppose, a kitchen, because I see vegetables and dishes and tables, yeah? Nice. Scenario 2, which is Preo Combat, where we have a slightly larger uh, playing area. Again, similar setup, very nice and compact. Okay, you see, you can even just, uh, if I remember correctly, from <coughs> one of the versions that you had with uh, Escape from Stalingrad Z, uh, you could have a version where you just have the book and the tokens, and it's very, very compact, uh, compact to take it uh, with you everywhere if you don't want to have uh, a lot of space out of your bag or your suitcase or your briefcase. Scenario 3 is uh, Madame Antoinette. Seems to be at the docks or something. Yeah? Okay. Nice. And then he also has the Taverne de Pelican de Mer, which is here. I suppose uh, progression. Uh, here, of course, uh, these are under development at the moment, or I should say, in just uh, fine tuning or polishing uh, to add the last, uh, the additional, always is going to be uh, additional uh, scenarios. There's a good value of content always in these uh, adventure books from Raybox. I really enjoyed it. So, there you have it. This is everything. Um, Uh, included in the prototype, really digging what I see uh, so far. Looking forward to get, dive directly into this one and I'll come back with uh, one how to play slash review uh, video uh, to explain the rules of the game, which is fairly easy from what I get, easy to get, but uh, rich and thematic and also uh, meaningful. And then also uh, share my uh, first impressions from the first sessions I would have with the game. Many thanks for watching. <laughs>